sperm donor facing the possibility of paying child support for a girl being raised by a lesbian couple. I imagine when you showed up at these ladies' door with a bag, you didn't really envision a three-year court battle, did you? Absolutely not. 41 Action News investigator Andy Alcock has new court documents filed in this case just this week. Andy? Justin, the state of Kansas filed this briefing arguing William Murata should be given parental rights and financial responsibility for the girl who's about to turn six. But neither he nor the lesbian couple want him involved in the girl's life. I've never spoken to anybody who's a sperm donor and says I expect to be the father, too. After answering a Craigslist ad, it's been roughly seven years since William Murata agreed by contract to be a sperm donor for same-sex couple Jennifer Schreiner and Angie Bauer. The contract says before anything happened, I wasn't going to be a parent. Murata showed up at the women's house with a bag containing a cup with his donation three times and never took any money for it. Using a basic syringe, Bauer said she was able to impregnate Schreiner. It was never intended for William to be a parent. Uh, Jennifer and I created this child, not William and Jennifer. But the state of Kansas disagrees. It all started after the two women applied for state assistance. In a filing this week, co-counsel Timothy Keck wrote, History has not washed away the long-standing public policy of legitimacy through marriage, and none of the parties have asserted a marriage occurred between any of the parties. Schreiner and Bauer did have a commitment ceremony. We couldn't marry at the time. It wasn't legal. You would have been otherwise, you think? Absolutely. Both Bauer and Murata believe the state is pursuing the case due to political pressure from a conservative administration. Judge Mary Mativi ordered Murata to undergo paternity testing. Kansas Governor Sam Brownback appointed her to the bench in 2012. Murata says he spent tens of thousands of dollars fighting the case. The state wants him named the father, partially responsible for medical expenses, and to pay more than $1,600 in child support. What do you think about that request? I'm not a parent. This should be about the love that a child gets from two parents. She has that, has always had it. Both Murata and Bauer say he's had no involvement in the girl's life. A decision in this case is likely to come after the first of the year. Whatever happens, attorneys say an appeal is a near certainty. Live in studio, investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News.